Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so I've already provided you with three examples on improper integrals, but I found this uh, fourth fun problem, and so a bonus fourth example. All right, uh, now to get started, let's for a second abandon the limits and just work on the integral, yeah? Um, all right, and um, all I do in this first step is just get common denominators for this two and this quotient here, and that'd be this, right? And then next, what I'm going to do is factor out a negative 2 from the numerator. You'll see why this is helpful. All right, so uh, if I factor out a negative 2 from this numerator, then I could write uh, negative 2 in front of the integral and then this and the numerator, right? Okay, now let's uh, work on this numerator of our integrand for a second. Let's work on it somewhere over here, yeah? All right, all right. So that means that... Uh, we first write it and then see that multiplying it by its conjugate top and bottom, we could write this, right? And remember, multiplying by the conjugate, uh, what it does is it creates a difference of squares. So we took this, wrote it over 1, and multiplied it by the conjugate here, top and bottom, right? And like I said, multiplying by the conjugate creates a difference of squares here in this numerator, and so we see that uh, the numerator is of the form a minus b times a plus b, which is a squared minus b squared, right? And so it's this. Now, uh, 2x all squared is 4x squared, right? And this here is just going to allow us to get rid of the square root. And so if we do that and simplify, then we see that our next step could look like this, right? Which is this here, and then in turn, this here. Ah, so what that means is that the numerator of our integrand is the same as negative 21 divided by its conjugate. Yeah? Okay, okay, cool. So that means that our integral, uh, which is this, right, where we left off, we left off here, and so that's the same as here, right, is equal to, it's equal to this here. What have I done? Well, I've replaced the numerator here with what we found out it is, which is negative 21 over its conjugate. And so the negative 21 is right here. The conjugate is in the denominator as it should be. But otherwise, everything else is as before, right? Like this here is this here, and then dx is dx, right? And obviously, I can write a 1 there if I so chose. And our next step, let's lump this negative 21, the negative 2 in front, into a 42. Yeah? Um, all right. There that is. So uh, 42 is in front of our integral, um, and then in front of our integral sign. And then we've got inside dx, dx can go in the numerator, right? But otherwise, we've got this fella and this fella in the denominator as we should. Okay, where to from here? Because um, how do we solve this integral? Well, we do it using u substitution. We're going to let u equal this here, uh, 2x plus root 4x squared plus 21. Uh, so if we let u equal that there, right? this part of our denominator uh, in this final version of our integral or in this last version um, all right so so you get it you get it if that's you then um, you should do du carefully but it's clear that du will first look like this and all you need for that is the derivative of 2x which is 2 and then the derivative of root 4x squared plus 21 is 1 over 2 times root 4x squared plus 21 and then chain rule would say multiply by the derivative of 4x squared plus 21, which is 8x, right? And you could write this as like 4x squared plus 21 to the half power uh, if uh, you want to make it easier uh, to see why its derivative has got to be this. But yeah, remember chain rule. Okay, okay, okay. So now let's get a common denominator in this part, right, right, right? And if we do that, then uh, we see the du. Ah, no, all I've done first is cancel this 2 and this 8x. But yeah, if we do that and then and then get common denominators, then um, it's clear that du could be written like this here. Ah, how nice, because look, this numerator here is 2 times u. Do you see that? This numerator here, right here. Uh, now, first, du is equal to this here, right? And in this part, the numerator is 2u. Ah, that's convenient. That's got to be convenient. And then we can't really quite get rid of this. And that's a good thing, too. You should see. Um, yeah? All right. All right. So du uh, is this, right? Uh, walking you more carefully why uh, this numerator is 2 times u. But yeah, du is that, which is 2 times u divided by the square root quantity we've highlighted all along in maroon. And then times dx, right? And so then 
solving for dx, right? Solving for dx, dx has got to be uh, d, dx has got to be du, which is out here, times uh, the reciprocal of this thing, right? Uh, this quotient <laughs> thing, okay? Which is what I've got here, right? So dx is that, right? Right? Okay, okay. And now we need some space, so we won't need that stuff there, and we won't need this stuff here. Or that stuff there and there okay all right all right all right so uh, what are we gonna do well uh, we're gonna come back here and replace everything we can replace in other words we're gonna replace DX with this here um, right a square root quantity divided by 2u times du and then uh, we're going to replace this here with a u and do you see that this guy's gonna cancel with this guy? How convenient, how nice, right? Okay, yeah. So uh, we do the replacing, and I've already told you what replaces what. This here is for dx, right? And this here is u, and therefore that little u right there. This is all dx, right? And yeah, you should be able to see. All right, all right. <laughs> um, and next, well, I don't need that stuff anymore. So get rid of that stuff, and uh, we can clearly cancel this guy and this guy, and so we do that, and um, yeah, so our integral simplifies all the way to this, which has a pretty simple integral, right? Uh, it's going to be 21 times negative 1 over u. Just write this 1 over u squared inside the integrand as u to the negative 2, and it's pretty easy to see why its antiderivative has got to be here. Uh, it's got to be this, rather. And I didn't write a plus C because we're going to throw the limits back on after we replace U with what we said it was, which is this guy, right? Okay, okay, okay. So now we're ready to say that our original um, improper integral, which with the proper grammar would be like this, is the same as, the same as we worked on it all the way through, right? This integrand, and we've done the integral, so just throw on the limits of integration and say a goes to infinity right that's all there is left to do right okay 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 and so then um i don't need the stuff at the bottom but might need the space so there we plug in a in place of x and then we plug in one and subtract right and so uh in the second part this minus in front of the 21 is going to turn into a plus because we plug in a and then plug in one and subtract right and that's why it's going to turn into a plus right 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 okay so we'll have this is what i'm saying now as a goes to infinity it's pretty easy to see that this uh, quotient right here is going to go to zero because we have a fixed numerator and then uh, the denominator is growing without bound right so it's going to go to zero and then this here is going to be 21 over 7 and therefore three yeah cool all right i hope you enjoyed this and uh for anyone who like uh, when I like kind of wore a mask and stuff or did actually wear a mask and make a few videos the last few videos if you asked like why like I chose to do that this is one reason this was an enormous amount of work and doesn't even get as many views as the ones that I do on the whiteboard so this is probably the last time I'll make a video like this but yeah uh, I hope you savor it for that reason keep watching take care